New tonight at 10, we're going behind the scenes with Arapahoe County's new health department. Inspectors giving us an up close look at how they make sure the restaurant serving up your favorite dishes are not putting you at risk. Your reporter in Arapahoe County, Katie Weiss, takes us there. There's a whole lot of love that goes into dishes like these across Arapahoe County. But to make sure they're safe to eat, county health inspectors conduct regular unannounced checks. We got to ride along with inspectors Michael Morgan and Odina Trotman. They've been with Arapahoe's Health Department since it first began operations in January this year, after Tri-County Health Department was dissolved last year. It was kind of a little bit rough at times, but when we got into it, the 1st of January, we were ready to go, ready to start those inspections within a week or so of it starting up, and I think it's been really well so far. They get to see delicious cuisines from cultures all over the world. Very good. Represented in Arapahoe County communities. On this day, they're taking a closer look at Cuba Bakery and Cafe in Aurora. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. They start in the kitchen. Perfect. Testing temperatures of both ready-to-eat meals and foods still sitting in the freezer. They just made it this morning, um, so it's still cooling. They observe dish and hand washing procedures and quiz the manager in charge about safety protocols. These strategies. This Cuban cafe passed with flying colors. They did an amazing job. But not all restaurants in Arapaho are so clean. The county's database shows about 10% of businesses didn't pass and were required to undergo a re-inspection. Some of the violations included cockroaches in the kitchen, employees not washing hands, utensils not cleaned properly, and undercooked chicken. But since January, no restaurants have received a score bad enough to be shut down. 32. 32, perfect. Morgan says their approach is all about education to help restaurants stay open oh safely. God. And that's the most critical thing. If you just were to give people citations, they don't typically learn from those things. So we come in, we look at all the different food safety topics that we go over. And we make sure, hey, does the managers know what they're talking about? And then does the regular staff know? And if they don't know, we're there to provide resources for them. For team leaders like Lauren Hernandez Fuentes at Cuba Bakery and Cafe. So we're going to go over your report today. So that education is welcomed. I'm not going to deny that it can be a little hard, make you nervous, you know, because you always want to do everything okay, and we really try. If you're doing something grown, it will make you, like, look bad, but, but that's the idea, what it is for, for you to learn, to try to do it, like, the right way. A couple questions for you. They're doing their job. And meaning that their job it's been doing correctly means that ours it's been the same way and that we're caring about everybody. So it's a job and a good job and for a good reason. So nobody needs to be afraid. To find the inspection results of your favorite Arapahoe County restaurant, just find this story on our website right now, cbscolorado.com. In Aurora, I'm Katie Weiss covering Colorado First. And Katie doesn't just cover Arapahoe County for you. She lives there, so we sure hope you'll send her your story ideas by reaching out on our tip line by phone or email.